Good day guys and welcome to the channel. If you haven't subscribed or if it's your first time here, make sure you do so now. A lot of uh, cool content coming your way. Today I went looking for a classic car, found one, and the owner's been nice enough to allow me to video it. So let's go check it out. Okay guys, so this is Scott. Scott, uh, I understand you have a gorgeous car here. Uh, maybe you can uh, explain to us what it is. Sure, it's a uh, 1969 uh, American Motors Javelin SST uh, with a Go package added on and uh, dealer installed rally pack. Beautiful. So it's pretty much a fully loaded car for its time in its day. day. Yeah, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Now, uh, how long ago did you buy this? Um, my dad bought it in July 16th, 1969, and it's been in the family for 51 years. Oh, is that right? So yep. it's, oh, he bought it new. Yeah, oh, yeah right off that's the dealership cool. that's It's cool. got a new paint job on it. Like this is not standard yeah, I paint, understand. but yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, 51 years we've had so the he car. Bought, wow, that's, got, that's awesome, that's awesome. And uh, when, how long have you owned it for? Uh, I took possession of the car in 2010. Okay, so 10 uh, years. Yep, when I moved out here, we stored the car and to get it out of the weather. Yep. And then for five years, I had to go back and forth with my dad to get him to sell me the car. <laughs> because I, call, I wanted to fix it up, but I didn't want to put a whole lot of money into a car that I didn't own. Right, right, right. So. right. I understand, I understand. And he, Actually, well, let's, let's take a closer look at it. Sure. Well, what can you tell us about the car? It's, it says 390 on the side. Is that, is that in fact what it is? That is in fact it's, what it is. It's a yeah. 390? It came okay. originally with a 390. It's still the original 390 in it. We had to... The original one. Numbers yeah. Oh, nice. And the nice. car is completely numbers matching. Oh, yes. that's yes, beautiful. Can we look under the hood? You sure can. All right. Um, we made a few modifications when we had to rebuild the engine from leaded fuel to unleaded fuel. Yep. Course, like what? Got, what did you do? Well, it's got the different, uh, hardened. it's got different hardened valves, hardened seats, seats. and yeah. we changed the lifters, we changed the cams on it when we went to, we rebuilt it. Um, the original, I believe, 600 AFB carb we replaced with a 750 carb. It had uh, dog leg exhaust manifolds. We went with uh, Hedman headers, three inch collectors. Mm -hmm. um, we've changed over to uh, an electric electronic distributor. Got rid of yeah. the points. Beyond that, the rest of the power steering pump, power brakes is all standard equipment. Nice, and it's got a uh, disc in the front. Disc in the front, drums, drums in, in the, the back. rear, yep. But now, what kind of carb did you say is on here? Eight, it's uh, a 750 uh, quick time. Quick time, yep. okay. Yep. Um, we've bypassed the mechanical fuel pump, got rid of that, went to uh, electric. electric. Uh, internals? What, what have you have you done anything internally in the engine? Uh, it's you four, said the can. It's a uh, board forty thou over. Forty over. Yeah. yeah. So okay. we're probably closer to a 400, 401 now. Oh, okay. And compression wise, any idea? Ten and a half to one. Ten and a half to one. So yes, okay. Sir. Yeah. Very nice. Very clean. Very well done. Now the body. Uh, you said you've had it redone. Yep. Um, Drag it down customs in Tilbury. Okay. Did a complete rotisserie. Uh, rebuild on the car took mm -hmm. four years and wow. oodles of money. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> I, uh, I would tell anybody that wants to get into restoring a car yeah. if you uh, make sure you got a big, a big bank, bank roll. Yeah, yep. yeah, gotcha. This, I won't lie, this was uh, sixty-five thousand. Oh man, from the ground. I up. mean, it's beautiful, and uh, but sixty-five thousand is a lot of money. <laughs> it is, it is, but yeah. it's it's a sentimental. It's a, sure you know, it is. Yeah, it's a family. Even it's, it's a family been in the car, family. So, yeah. Well, 
as family cars go. I mean, it's not a station wagon, but <laughs> no, no. I mean, it's been in the family yes. for that long. Yeah, yeah, that's that's nice. Um, and then uh, it's suspension wise, brakes. You said is all factories, all standard. It's all factory. Yeah. In '69, it's still the uh, Trunnion suspension in the front because okay. they didn't go to ball joint until oh, is that right? 1970. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a four speed manual Borg Warner transmission. Nice. Uh, 354 twin rear end. 354 gears. Yeah. yeah. And what'd you say, twin? Twin grip. So it's uh, AMC's version of Posi Track. They call oh, okay. it twin grip. Okay. Didn't know that. Yeah. Very nice. Interior looks absolutely mint. The interior we had, uh, my dad had it redone once in the 80s, which is why the almost like the velour yeah. seat covers. Yeah, yeah. It was a big thing in the 80s. Right. And he liked it. And I, when I restored it, I stuck with uh, that because I already have a. Uh, vehicles with uh, leather interior yeah right and it's a lot nicer than vinyl well it is but it, <laughs> especially you, in black also got air and probably you do in the truck yeah but yeah. here yeah. yeah yeah it's it's hot yeah it's hot and then leather on top is just a little too hot for me anyway but yes, uh, yes. so that's probably a better choice looks great looks absolutely amazing mm -hmm. i see you've got a book there oh, that's uh, a photo, a photo album, album yep. of, the, of the car yeah it's the story see. maybe we can take a peek at that sure so this is the original build sheet? So it's a reprint of the original build. The original did not survive the weather. So yeah, just under $4,000 wow. back in 1969. <laughs> nice, yeah, nice. And that was sold on Goyu. Yep, Alexander Ambassador. I assume that's uh, when it, after that it turned into a Chrysler dealership. Uh, is that I don't the know same if they place did. Or is that uh, no, it's a parking lot now. Oh, is that right? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I've met a couple of guys that work there and I want to find out more about the history of the dealership just to go along with the car. Right, right. Um, Actually, here, I'm looking at the uh, horsepower, 315. Yeah, very cool. <laughs> that's what they said out of the factories. Yeah, right. that's what they said. I'm sure it was more. <laughs> Before we the, made the changes, I think we're probably closer to 375, You think so? I yeah, think. yeah, I would think, yeah. Yep. So, there's, there's what the car originally looked like the day it was purchased. So it was like a gold color. Uh, they called it butternut beige iridescent. Ah, oh yeah, very nice. That's your dad, I take. Yep, it. yep. Back when he was 21 years old when he bought this wow. car, and then over the years, so, it got oh, a got a little. Uh, my dad hit fender a deer. Bender, a deer. Yep, hit oh, a deer. Yeah. Um, back in 1984 is when he had the car redone. Uh, I don't know how well you can make out that autograph, but that autograph is Roger Penske. Oh, no kidding. Roger Penske Roger did get Penske, to see the car, yeah. yep. And because it's based on a, his cars for the Trans Am series. Gotcha, gotcha. Where we got the red, white, and blue paint job. Right, right, right. And then from there, this is what it looked like while it was sitting in my garage for years and years. It was, um, we used it for Christmas toy storage. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna lie, I would hide things out in this car, hide things on top of it. Oh, there's, yeah. Uh, yeah. There's definitely one in here that shows how the car was just buried in. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah. That was when we took the engine out. There you get an idea. The car oh, was yeah. absolutely just buried in the garage. In a true Canadian garage with oh, a yeah, hockey, hockey, hockey net right there. Of course. Yeah, of course. And then fast forward, the day, the day it left was May 15th, 2015. That's when it left and to get redone. And that's what she looked like wow. the, when they stripped it down before they media blasted. When they media blasted, it looked even worse. It looked like Swiss cheese. Oh, I'm sure. And then we'll have many years of pictures wow. of uh, the rebuild, color matching process, starting to repaint, rebuilding uh, suspensions, interiors, rebuilt motor. Yeah. Uh, going to paint, paint. <laughs> Process, yeah. That's great that you got all these pictures. It was really nice that the shop kept taking. Uh, he kept giving me updates right. when I wasn't there. Mm -hmm. He would take an extra picture and say, "Hey, we did this. Hey, we did this." And that's pretty nice of him. Yeah, motor tuning. Yeah. And you said this was done in Tilbury. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it's on Coots Line. Okay. And drag it down customs. Mm -hmm. uh, Jeremy and his crew did a fantastic job rebuilding the car from the from the ground up. Right. And then we get down to we took it to well, London Speed and Custom when it was almost done. Yeah. And then this year its completion done done was debuted. We were at Autorama. At Autorama. Yep. Nineteen. 
or the 2019. Yeah, no, yeah. no, just this one, just this past 20, 20, did 2020. They, yeah. Oh, did they have it? I thought yeah, it was like the last auto show before COVID oh, ruined right? everything. Oh, yes. Okay, I didn't realize. Yep. Yeah, yeah, we actually had people that uh, some companies wouldn't let their employees go back to work because they went because to Autorama. Because they went to Autorama. Yeah. Oh, okay, very cool. So something, Scott, that I usually ask everybody when we uh, do videos like this is, can we take it for a ride? Oh, absolutely. Great, let's go. Yep. A 
it's not a it's not a daily driver. No, it's, it's a, a weekend thing, right? It's so, a weekend cruiser. Yeah. It's a parade show thing. Yeah. How many shows do you uh, bring it in a year, roughly? Uh, we went a lot, or just a few? I've been to just a two so far. Two. Uh, there's typically every year there's an AMC only uh, national convention or uh, where the cars were built in Kenosha. Yeah. They have a every three years called Homecoming. Which was supposed to be this year, but of course it got cancelled. Yeah. Those are the ones that I typically go to because everybody there loves AMCs. Right. A lot of shows around here you go to, most people don't, oh yeah, well, they don't even know what it is. They don't know right? what it is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know. The American Motors was bought out in 1987 by Chrysler. Chrysler, yeah. Lee Iacocca always used to say, if you can find a better car, buy it. Guess what? He bought out American Motors. Yeah, right. Just there goes to go. tell you right there, we were a better car. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> so you're saying the uh, the AMXs are shorter? Yes, they're than, they're than ten the inches shorter than a Javelin, and the Javelins are also wider in the front end because they were built for road course racing. Right. So thus the better handling in the corners with a wide front end. Gotcha. And the AMX was built primarily for drag racing. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Which is why the shorter wheelbase. Shorter wheelbase. Gotcha. Now, do you do this after every time you take it out, pop the hood, let her cool down a little bit? Uh, yeah, actually, Most I won't guys, lie. I've got a huge fan inside there. Usually, I put the fan up inside here, too. You do, eh? Yeah, yeah. get her cooled down. I cool it down that way. I can store it faster. Yeah. A lot of people say I'm spoiling the car, but hey. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. A friend of mine used to do it, so I learned from him, and you know, just cool it down, and it's yeah. less wear and tear, less heat on the engine. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Well, I'm glad you did this, uh, Scott. I'm glad I came out and... Uh, I'm sure that, uh, and hopefully, the viewers will enjoy it as much as I did. <laughs> so uh, thanks again for that. No we'll problem. do the COVID uh, yes, bump. And, uh, you know, if you guys, if you uh, enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And we'll see you on the next one. Peace.